started. My name is Crystal and this is Jamie and Jolie and today we're going to show you a great resource called Edpuzzle. Are any of you familiar with Edpuzzle already? So so? Excellent. We're going to show you how to use Discovery Education which is a free tool that the district has provided us in coordination with Edpuzzle. Edpuzzle allows you to take a video and crop it, add audio, and add assessment questions to it while adding it to your blended classroom. It also allows you to take those videos and look at real-time data. So today we're going to do our stations in blended learning so you get a little idea of how to do cropping, overlaying, and audio. The first thing you're going to do is log into Edpuzzle, which will be www.edpuzzle.com. If you already have a login, then you can go ahead and log in. If you don't, you're going to press the sign up button that's on the top right corner. Do if you're there is start looking for a video. Um, we're going to be looking for a video segment, which is a part of that full video. So you can go ahead and start doing that if you are ready to go ahead. So maybe a unit you're working on or something that you'll be using in the next few weeks. That's what I did. So you want to look for the full video? Well, under the full video, there will be segments. Right. So within that full video, look for a segment that's minimum a minute, max five minutes. You're going to be using that segment throughout this. Well, you could do more if you find one that you are you know, going to use. Um, it might be beneficial for cropping, too, to be able to crop out you know, what you need. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, always says like we have and then videos, upload video uh, if you're uploading from Discovery. And then for the sake of today's session, we're gonna have you duplicate the video two times because we're gonna be doing the blended learning stations and you're gonna be doing something different to the video in every group. That way you can have your own video for each section and not have to keep uploading it. So if you click on the little wheel, it says duplicate video. Just click duplicate video and it automatically pops up with another one. And then you can do it one more time so that way you have three. You're going to stay with me to do uh, audio, so go ahead and open up one of your videos. And you're going to see that we're going to go ahead and skip ahead for me to the little speaker icon. And what I'm going to do is show you mine. It's very short. It's a minute. Keep in mind it's for elementary. So it's very simple. Okay, so let's see here. All right, I'm, good. I'm going to view it as a student would. <laughs> um, as you can see, I have two audio notes. And then what I did was narrate the questions because my children can't read really good. So it's also an option to just say what the question is so they can hear it as well. <laughs> As you listen to the story of the sailboat racer, see if you can listen to information about global winds. Okay. So then you can see, you know, you can play back until that point and see how that, you know, if you want to put it into a different spot. At the age of 20, the sailor, Ellen McCarty, is now on the adventure of the sailboat. That's the one I just did. <laughs> Okay, that's that's the point that you can go back and forth and finish this. Um, I have it set so they can't skip the video; they have to watch it, and. You'll see at the end that you can upload the answers in the Excel sheet. So all the questions that they answered, you get to see each student how they were doing during that video. So at this time, you can go ahead and open up your video. And I'm going to let you have a chance to put in some audio notes with yours. Okay. Is it happening? 
or I want to start mine right there. So I'm going to pause it. You can watch the whole video and see where you want to pause it first. This is how simple it is. You just take this red button right here and you drag it to where the video is. The question will pop up there. And you stop your video. <laughs> yes, and that's how they miss it. And what they were doing is part of it. Like, which answer? You could also option. I know there are new ones somewhere in the front of the video. Because the video can be substantial. So if you play it, this is where the questions come into play. So press that question mark at the very end right here. The question will turn blue, and this is where you can enter. So you have the option to either you made a pound of sugar right off the top as well. To add an open-ended question, a multiple choice question, or comments. And for this one, I'm just going to do open-ended. What do you Is it? <laughs> it pops up a simple yes or no question. I think I've seen it somewhere. Did you find it again? I had it set so I can't see the video that I watch it. And you'll see at the end that you can look just like this. So say you want to add multiple so choice. all the questions that they answer, you can see each student. Click the green button at the bottom. Sorry, we're doing Again. that video. But this is my multiple choice option. Go ahead your video. I'm going to let you have a chance to do some audio notes. So the first response, second response. Into the master's program, in case you are interested, it's a 30 credit program. It's 100% online, so you never have to drop out the coastal. It's practitioner focused. Um, the cost, it's thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Um, Ori County and Coastal have a partnership where it's 50% off of your tuition when you take classes at Coastal. So it's approximately $800 per course. It's 750 right now, but inflation. Um, it's a salary bonus of 5000 and it pays back in less than 18 months once you get it. The application, you fill it out. You um, have to have your transcripts from your undergrad. You had to have a 3.0 or higher in your undergrad degree. You have to have two recommendation letters, and your teaching license is not required. These are some of the courses that you'll take in the program. Um, advanced online teaching, instructional video production, and we are talking about for a lot of the classes you create projects. Well, I teach sixth grade ELA, so some of my projects were about sixth grade ELA stuff. So I'm really kind of planning and working on my own curriculum while also doing projects for the master's degree. And then if this takes you to the coastal page, thank you takes you to the coastal page in the area where it talks about all the information, the 50% tuition discount, tells you what classes you need, what um, prereq classes, there are three of them that you need to take, but if you, were, if you already have a master's degree, especially from coastal, a lot of times those three prereq classes will transfer over. And then we, thank you. And then the Facebook page is CCU Instructional Technology. Dr. Dickerson is in charge. He's the coordinator of this master's degree. He's awesome. Um, a lot of people think, oh, I can't do a technology degree. I don't know anything about technology. Well, the professors there, and especially Dr. Dickerson, they're awesome. They're very helpful. There is no dumb question, so you can ask them anything. Uh, Ms. Millard is the administrative assistant. If you email her questions, she gets right back to you. She also does your scheduling. And then the Office of Graduate Studies, if you needed information from them. And then if you guys wouldn't mind taking a survey for us, if you would type this into your URL. Sure. Yes, you can. And you can take just like one class. Or class yes, time. good question. You can, this program, you can take as many or as little classes as you need. So if you 
feel like you can take one in the fall and maybe you're too busy in the spring and then pick back up in the summer. Or if you think you can take two classes in summer one, like I know I personally did two summer one, two summer two, but it's summer and if you're yeah. off, you can get it done faster. So you can work at your own pace, which is